Hello, welcome to Nerd Variety. Uh, this is the last day before Halloween that we're recording, so happy Halloween. I am Hunter. Uh, here we have Josh. Hi, I'm, I'm terrified. Yep. And uh, other here, we have Hannah. Hi, I'm sleepy. Yeah. Wait, I thought, never mind. What? One of but the I have dwarves. tea. It's going to be the, okay. One of the dwarves. It's going to be okay. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah. Almost Halloween or Halloween or way past Halloween, depending on when you're watching or listening to this. Uh, but for us, it's almost Halloween right now. For some people, they think it's, you know, it's Christmas, but no, it's Halloween. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to lose these. Um, yeah, so we've been talking horror uh, all month. And now we will continue to do that. This is the culmination of all horror discussions. Finish it. Yes. And first thing that I want to talk about is, and it may be the only thing we talk about, but it's at least a starting point, if nothing else. Um, should horror be grouped in the same category as science fiction and fantasy? You know, a lot of times I, I mean, I always would have thought that those would be three distinctly separate categories, but so often I see sci-fi slash fantasy as one genre and that has one section. And a lot of times in discussion, uh, I, I tend to see horror grouped in with those as well. And I can see why, but before I get, you know, on my whole rant thing that I always do, uh, let's just... What do you guys think? I think if we're going to go with, like, I don't know. I, I would definitely say that there's not a lot of similarities between horror and sci-fi, right? Especially when you think about some of the bigger sci-fi material out there, stuff like Star Trek. and um, Star Trek's the main one that comes to mind. That is actually, like, like people who write sci-fi pay a lot of attention to the science going into what they're doing. And I just don't think horror is very scientific. What about alien? Yeah. What about alien, Hannah? What about, Maybe, uh, but what about dead space? Yeah. I don't know about dead space. Yeah, I know you don't. Uh, there's uh, what about Frankenstein? Hmm. What about zombies? I don't think it was very scientifically. Yeah, sound. yeah. Now, so. as we as we previously discussed, uh, zombies nowadays are a result of a viral infection. Um, so they they are kind of scientifically based. They're very uh, biological in uh, in nature a lot of times. Um, and you know, again, Frankenstein, obviously a science experiment by a scientist mm -hmm. uh well frankenstein's monster not frankenstein yeah. himself but and then biology too he was uh born so was, i don't uh, know i guess i'm i maybe am even disagreeing with you guys on what classifies as horror and that is another good point uh to get into so what do you hannah believe uh qualifies something to be considered horror i don't know i feel like I feel like there's generally going to be a a supernatural element to it. I feel like is a not generally but like that's a definitely a very comp very big category of horror. Um I don't know. Yeah. Well, Josh, uh what are your thoughts on this topic? My uh You can even take a step back from where Hannah was at. So the definition of horror, um, yeah, uh, a lot of horror uh, movies, TV shows, video games have an element of there's a some kind of monster that's going to get you, or a human that's going to get you, or the elements that, that are going to get you, and it's usually revolves around the fear of dying, uh, or being hurt, or losing control, and you can see that in a lot of, you know, that's that can. And that's generally what we, we, we all 
want to want to experience when we go to ha- have see watch are watching a horror movie, TV show, or playing a video game. Yeah. Well, so and this is a bit early to throw this out here, but I'm just going to do oh. it anyway. Oh. Uh, I've kind of been the more I've been thinking about it lately, the more I think of horror being and this is where you kind of have to draw a a line and try to find the the difference between these two but uh i tend to think horror may even fit better as like a theme than a genre if you understand that difference like horror it's more an element that shows up in many genres and i think should be itself maybe maybe a meta genre well, I would disagree because I feel like yeah. genres are always intertwined with each other. And that's one of the things I was going to say about Alien. And I don't know if I've even seen all those movies. Um, They're good. But wouldn't those mostly be classified as action? Definitely not the first one. You could Not s- the first one. And this is going back to the, uh, you know, can, you, can you classify them together? I think it's actually there. You can say something is purely horror or something is purely, or something is like a mix. Is it's, it's sci-fi horror or fantasy horror? Because mm-hmm. Alien would definitely go into the box of sci-fi horror. Because it's, right, and I feel like horror is naturally going to lend itself well to being paired with sci-fi or fantasy or action. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Um. Or or thriller. You know, if it has more of like a yeah. psychological yeah. component. Right. Yeah. Not often going to be paired with romance or comedy. Well, and but that doesn't make it less of a genre. <laughs> then you can have a, a <laughs> distinction between thriller, what you count as a thriller, and what you count as horror, uh, as well. Yeah, just, I I'm, don't know what the difference is. <laughs> I'm dreading. I'm dreading. I'm now dreading the idea of watching a horror romance. I mean, you have elements of uh, romance in a lot of horror stuff. Well, maybe not a lot. I don't actually watch a lot of horror. I'm familiar with more than I've seen, actually. But, uh, you know, it's there. It shows up a good bit. Like, have you seen It or read It? Yeah, I've um, watched It. There's romance in It. Uh, It's just not purely a love story. I mean, it's it's not purely, but no. It's a horror film, but... But, I, but it has, of course, some characters are going to be, you know, I love you, I love you too, I don't love you. Mm. Uh, you know, there's a whole love triangle thing, and uh, then just some other straight up uh, romance things going in there. Um, but no, yeah, like I, I definitely feel like horror tends to it more often than not. It feels like, as Hannah had said, there's uh there's like a supernatural element to it Mm -hmm. and to me that's really what brings it into the fantasy genre Mm -hmm. because that's that's where you for me i'm like okay so how is that different than uh fantasy you know like you have uh and okay so since I brought up it, that is where one where it gets really weird and hard to identify as well. Yeah, because yeah. it's kind of it's definitely horror. I think we can yeah. all agree on that. Yeah. Um, but it's also like kind of fantasy, kind of science fiction almost, because it has to do with like these alien creatures that like created this stuff and you know like came into Mm -hmm. uh the world and then they're kind of fighting you know there are these opposite forces you know it being like the the evil like alien entity thing whatever i can't keep track yeah they kind of they kind of i i like i was like okay cool when i was watching it chapter two uh where they was like the vague origin of it and it was like okay it it's been here forever. It came from the sky, and it caught. It's been doing this for millennia. Um, they even took I, out I the like, space turtle thing in uh, in the new one. Oh, but I, I really like I really like the you know how he was more of, it was more of a kind of cycle. It was still he was a it was more of a mystery psychological 
still some little a little fantasy more than the sci-fi because I think it took it so it hit a little sci-fi the very uh, here and there, but it was mostly super kind of fantasy fantasy um, psychological horror. Yeah. So again, there's a lot of a lot of magic, you know, in a lot of horror stuff like like that. Um, and again, I I don't remember for sure. It's really confusing, and I haven't entirely finished the book, so there may still be some stuff that I'm not uh, in on yet. But it it does get even weirder than the movies have yeah. dared go. Uh, had to let us know. Yeah, but and you know that's just one example. First of all, Stephen King tends to do a lot of that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, you know. Also, given that there's like the whole Stephen King connected universe, so not you know talking about uh, magic, also getting into the not just the the book slash movie, but um, just the idea of The Shining and how that's a thing that mm-hmm. kind of shows up a lot, where that's like kind of a form of magic or like psychic powers and stuff. Yeah, definitely some supernatural fringe definitely fringe um elements to it yeah so again that's where i tend to try to say it it feels a lot like like fantasy as well Mm -hmm. yeah like it's very similar and then with fantasy horror you got you know your vampires and werewolves and um uh ghosts sometimes sometimes zombies yeah. sometimes zombies a, a lot of times when you get demons you also get zombies kind of dragged along with them uh i, I kind of like I, I i i i see a lot of like there, you know there's evil dead zombies and then there's walking dead zombies yeah evil dead those are those are your supernatural zombies your deadites yeah. that are caused by caused by someone opening a book made from human skin and reading from it aloud which is the dumbest thing in the world and, you know, I want to actually kind of get on that, jump on that a little more, but uh, let's, <laughs> let's hear from Hannah again. You've been kind of quiet. I haven't just, quite Yeah, quiet. Hannah. Do you open the book of the book made from human skin? And she opened the Necronomicon. Oh, why'd you do that, Hannah? Hannah, Hannah. <laughs> no, I was looking up the differences. Okay. Between science fiction and fantasy and horror and all that stuff all right Hannah, just, this is a discussion i about know it. I we're know. not doing we're not doing definition by well so i found something important thank you very much uh in well, science fiction specifically there's two actually two different types um there's hard science fiction and soft science fiction um hard science fiction is just very very strongly based on evidence and actually frequently written by people who are familiar with the science whereas soft science fiction is something that has a main plot but is uses facts and um and sort of the uh the sciences that scientists make fun of like Mm. psychology and sociology and stuff like that to make the the plot seem more realistic and they actually give wally as an example which i think is really interesting (laughs) because it's like it's post-apocalyptic of sorts right and it does have some basis in real reality right so and it and it does say horror is like the definition is basically like you're trying to scare people yeah. So it does seem like that could be less of a genre. I mean, it, it is its own genre because there are definitely movies that are only designed to be horror, but I feel like it's also an element that you can slide into a lot of other stuff. Yeah. yeah. And again, that's what I was trying to say when I was saying, I think it works really well as like a theme. Mm-hmm. Right. But I would still say it's its own genre in the same way that comedy yeah. is its own genre, right? Yeah, so yeah. you have comedy and movies. I, that are I would agree that that could be applicable to comedy just as as well. And romance, right? You have movies that are specifically romance, and you have movies that have romance in them. Yeah. Right. So I don't feel like the the fact that it is, you know, slipped into other stuff means that it's not its own genre anymore. Well, I, again, this is where there's I a lot of say, overlapping. Yeah, this is where <laughs> yeah, I would I say just, yeah, yeah. I, I would have to think about it more. <laughs> but um, breaking down what's like a, a genre for something 
and what's like a subgenre or a meta genre if you want to right and it's worthwhile thinking about and it's and it's compelling and i i would say that if you do want to call it a theme or a, a subgenre or whatever there's going to be a lot more things that we currently consider genres that would fit into that category yeah i agree too and i feel like we might have to you know go back to the the ancient um like what would it be i guess like ancient greek theater types right which is like you have your your tragedies and your comedies and like Mm -hmm. what are the actual like plot points that you hit in those that to put them in certain genres i don't know Mm -hmm. if we want to get into all that not Um, today at least not this episode (laughs) (laughs) and i don't think they had horror as a genre back then but Mm, everything was pretty horrific they didn't really have a lot of genres yeah Yeah. i think they gravitated toward like epics and comedies Mm -hmm. Their, their their definition of comedies. They love tragedies. their tragedies. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. oh, woe is them. <laughs> but yeah, so I would I if if you guys are okay with it, I could declare this uh this specific part of the discussion maybe not done completely, but at least We've come to a, a consensus generally that it is a discussion that uh, warrants uh, inclusion of other topics that can be discussed at another time. True, very true. So, I, settled. <laughs> my biggest question leading off of that then is what is the difference between horror and a thriller? Uh, that is a good question. <laughs> yeah, I don't really question. know. Uh, I I guess, um, so for me, with that, I would say horror is made just to scare, whereas thrillers are usually more, uh, I would say, suspenseful. Yeah, so, yeah. again, I'm just a nerd, and I looked it up, uh, so for horror, it says it wants to create feelings of fear, dread, repulsion, and terror. And thriller yep. says excitement, anxiety, tension, suspense, or fear. And yep. honestly, that's why like I that. tend to prefer thrillers to horror. Because to me, a lot of horror, uh, especially like a lot of horror movies, they don't really stick to me because especially a lot of modern ones tend to stick to uh, like jump scares and there's mm-hmm. a lot of like, I guess, gross out horror. Um, yeah. You know, something's just kind of nasty. A lot of times, I just think it's stupid and uh, thrillers excessive. tend to be yeah. deeper and more psychological. Yeah. Um, and whereas, that's what I enjoy about them. Yeah, I haven't. I don't know if I've seen a lot of thrillers. To be honest, though. So. Yeah. Probably I haven't seen a lot of horror either, though. So. Yeah. 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 I'm Fair thinking point. of. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of it thriller um a lot of thrillers that i see usually involve like a serial killer that doesn't that you don't really see as like you don't see him ripping the victim apart or or yeah. bathing in their blood you see him see them you know oh someone went missing guys oh well let's go into this person's ha- into the this suspect's house and see if we, see if we can see anything and then it's like okay we're inside the house and oh crap what was that oh crap the dude's home what do we do quit you go distract him so yeah, and is is, is is person is the person inside the house safer, or is the person outside talking to the supposed serial killer safer? So who's going to get got first? Well, and that's you know where it comes to what uh, what makes it better, in my opinion, probably what makes it maybe a little more distinctive uh, is that in thrillers like that situation that you were talking about or those situations, uh, it's more about you know that the threat's there, but you're given less and less information and you don't really know anything for sure. And that's where it brings in the suspense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, I, yeah, I I think I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of myself. I I love a good thriller, you know, any day of the week. Horror is something I'm kind of getting to slowly. I've never really been a big fan of it growing up. It was not my cup of tea, but now I'm like, ah, why not? Let's, let's see some, you know, this person get you know um their spine ripped out and 
you know, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I am getting a little more and more into it as well, actually. Like, just when, when I realized, like, it's just fun, kind of mindless entertainment. Yeah. A lot yeah. of times, you know, like, um, so it, it was actually a few years ago. I really, I didn't finish them, but I downloaded like all the Friday the 13th movies. <laughs> and uh, I watched, I watched a good bit of them. I watched like the first four, I think. Mm-hmm. And like, I enjoy them. I think they're fun. They're not yeah. particularly scary or anything or deep but they're just kind of fun, like popcorn yeah. flicks. I also actually, I don't know that I've seen very many of them, but I always think I want to go and watch uh, more Friday, uh, not Friday the 13th, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the older ones, I'm, I'm probably going to watch Child's Play uh, after the after we get done. Uh, I always thought just because like I've never seen. Child's see- Play was funny. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, and then the in the new one uh, has uh, Mark Hamill in it, and I think it's I think and I also think it's interesting how they do the first one. Oh, he's a you know a uh, possessed uh, doll, and the new one he's a, a, he's an AI. It kind of goes back to that oh. whole to the whole like I didn't know that sci- uh, horror fantasy horror fantasy horror sci-fi. But let's not let's not get into that. Yeah, yeah. The one thing that uh that I've learned this this Halloween season is I I'm apparently just a very scared person. <laughs> yeah. Um, I learned that too. Yeah. Um I've always and, that. Uh, I don't know how you knew that. Um Do we need to bring up a picture of the marionette now? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things that like I when I was young I never felt like I was like too scared in the moment when watching something scary but i will like have trouble sleeping for weeks afterwards like mm, things really stick with it. me yeah. yeah i think i maybe yeah. just have an overactive imagination and i live yeah. in a basement so probably yeah that does not help that doesn't does help awesome. yeah or it does really creepy, depending on case or it does help feed into that i mean i don't have a lower basement that's like actually creepy <laughs> hmm. yeah so but there are no windows down here and it's very dark yeah but uh yeah, yeah and actually <laughs> something that came into my mind uh, as uh, like a couple examples of thriller versus horror is like um well okay uh there were a few examples i was thinking of but uh let's start uh like it it i would definitely consider more horror because i feel like you see a lot of pennywise and a mm-hmm. lot of yes. versions of him uh yeah. whereas the original alien i would consider probably more in line with thriller because you really don't see the the xenomorph that much you see him occasionally and he does do violent things yes but he he's pretty hidden and it's very suspenseful for a lot of times because there's a lot of shadows and there's a lot of darkness and so when he does strike it's first of all it's awesome (laughs) yeah but then it's also you don't really know when he's going to do it because they use him very sparingly Mm -hmm. not like aliens where uh there's a bunch of them and they're all that's more action horror but i would consider the first alien at least more thriller horror the one the one thing that I that came to mind that I was like, I don't really, it's kind of like a, a juxtaposition of all four sci-fi, fantasy, horror, thriller, I would say would be Doctor Who, actually. Well, yeah. I mean, mm. that I almost, like I it, mean, maybe a little less with the fantasy. Fantasy seems a little further. It definitely seems than, heaviest I, in like the sci-fi thriller categories, but definitely like kind of reaches into the other categories as well. I think that's their main selling point is that they are a, a sci-fi comedy fantasy show, but they can they can they can sure. walk into the whole thriller horror parts, especially mm-hmm. with the um the Weeping Angels. Oh Oof. yeah, <laughs> that, that, <laughs> no. But there no, are some no, episodes no. <laughs> that like you would look at, and you know, despite the time travel aspect of it, would be very much uh, fantasy. Right, so there's hmm. episodes about werewolves and vampires that like actually aren't werewolves and vampires; they're actually yeah, aliens. Like, and that's why but. I was gonna say, like, I could almost see your point for fantasy, but I think they do too good of a job explaining it's not fantasy. You know, by saying like, "Yeah, no, these yeah. are aliens." 
but, uh, but the more I think about it, the more I feel like fantasy is just like a a core genre uh, under which the um, under the um, how do I say this? Fantasy is like an umbrella <laughs> underneath which is I would say sci-fi, thriller, and horror. Because if and you think about fantasy, it's just too. like something imaginative. Yeah, and I I've gone to that as well. That's been another. Train and of there's thought. a specific like magic medieval fantasy right but there's also all this other stuff i would say that kind of falls underneath it yeah Mm -hmm. i i I could definitely see that i don't Um, think josh agrees i I, I also could see i also do see how science fiction and fantasy are pretty distinctive which again going back to what i started off saying i always think of those as two more distinct genres because again fantasy it tends to lean more towards like magical mystical kind of stuff science fiction just implies that it's fiction uh in relation to science but yeah so using science as a basis and then just talking fictional fictional versions of that which is why it is such a wide genre and why I think it should be considered a main genre instead of a subgenre. But we're not having this conversation today. We kind of, we kind of are. <laughs> yeah, we kind of are. But yeah. I'm going to So okay, to can we can we uh can we agree then that maybe fantasy has horror and thriller underneath it and sci-fi is separate? I think nope. of it as more nope. as <laughs> nope. I I'd think of it as more of uh horror is to fantasy of, as of, thriller I, and is to I'm sci-fi. Talking. I'm talking. Um, I think of it as more of a, I don't know, maybe tagging a video or something, you know, like horror is a tag, but it's not a video. That was a weird, that was a terrible analogy as soon as I got further into it. Um, But you know what I mean, right? Like you can apply horror underneath a lot of things. That's, yeah. I don't move it around, but I can see what you're saying. Yeah, well, I can yeah. see what you wrote. <laughs> that's just well, that's just how like it stays organized in my brain that way. And again, that's kind of what I was thinking, which is why they're all kind of interlo- yeah. uh, inter- interacting yeah. together. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so um, you guys got anything else? Again, trying to stay back on the uh, horror topic. Yeah. Yeah, uh, just that I like how horror is kind of becoming a little more. Like we, there was a big boom back, I think, way back when, but they kind of, they kind of didn't go into so much gore. Then there was a period in like the, I think the I think it started in like the eighties. I feel like that it was, yeah, where they kind of went more gory and they're like they were not afraid to push the envelope and show you know people getting cut up and you know chewed up and all that. And now, and they kind of, and then they, but then they also had the, they kept the thriller, the thriller elements being kind of stayed along for the ride. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like horror kind of maybe stemmed from thriller uh, or uh, I think, cause I think back in the day you couldn't, people, a lot of people couldn't handle horror and then horror came out when they were like, yeah, let's see a little more, a little more, you know, death, you know. Well, uh, I mean, you had those like in the fifties too, you know, mm-hmm. with like the. What was uh, it? Uh, Psycho? Well, that wasn't that wasn't fifties. Was I think that was sixties. Yeah. Although I yeah. I could be wrong, but I studied it, so I shouldn't be wrong. But <laughs> um, no, um, and that's <laughs> Psycho is definitely more of a thriller than a, it's definitely I wouldn't consider it horror at all. Uh, um, people probably thought it was horror. They probably screamed, "Oh, the horror!" when they saw her getting, you know, dun, 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 dun. yeah. But you actually don't see her get killed. You never oh, yeah. see her penetrated by a knife. You see the shadow, don't you? Not not being penetrated. No. I, I I watched it like it's been. I probably it's I've been studied part. this, and can this you just was stop a saying penetrated? It's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> makes you uncomfortable. It makes me uncomfortable. Stabbed. Who's the? I, I'm trying to remember. Asexual? I'm like, why don't we just say stabbed with a knife? We have to make it weird. Okay, well, she was stabbed with a knife. She was stabbed with a knife. I'm but trying she to wasn't how stabbed it... with a knife, and there wasn't a shadow. Is it weird that it's it been... doesn't? Is it weird that it doesn't make the asexual uncomfortable? 
that is, I, I don't know, I, I, I guess, I know. does does it? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so again, I mean, I, I think they were definitely two different genres and eventually kind of came closer and closer together. Um, well, they've kind of been together and then they kind of, one started underneath it, then it kind of grew apart and, you know, kind of like uh, they kind of had, they were kind of like individual, uh, in one thing and then they became two different things and they kind of switched. They it just of, sounds like a very complicated relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have an on, on again, off again. On again, off again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, what are, uh, let's just get into, you know, some fun parts of this. I think it's all fun, but, you know. Uh, yeah. Favorite horror. Let's not, well, okay, let's go by categories. Uh, favorite horror movie. Josh? My favorite horror movie. I'll give Hannah a second to think about it because she looks like she doesn't know. <laughs> uh, do I, have a, I don't really have a favorite though. I mean, I'm like I said, I'm still getting into the genre myself. Um, I would, I guess, favorite horror movie. Or right if now, it I guess helps. Right, or if it right helps now, it's franchise. A, well, I guess right now it's a tie between it and Evil Dead because, as in, like, no, I, I can't, I can't forget Alien. It's kind of a three way. Ty, like those are my if i had to recommend some horror movies to someone i would say you want aliens a good one evil dead if you really want to get get crazy um and then it if you're looking for something you know that's scary. really <laughs> scary yeah if you just want to be scared evil dead if you want to be disturbed um alien if you are in for like a good like you know you know just a what i just a, that whoa feeling yeah yeah, uh, for me, I was, and this may change plenty in like the last, in the next 20 minutes or so, but uh, <laughs> my initial uh, thought has to be Alien. Yeah. Because I've been talking about it this whole time. <laughs> yes, but, yes, you have. Yes, you have. Uh, and uh, what about you, Hannah? Uh, I'm having the opposite problem that Josh was having. Uh, which is I think of <laughs> can't think of a lot. And you could also um, put Shaun of the Dead up there. That was a good one. Yeah. Um, Not necessarily horror, but it's horror <laughs> comedy. I mean, if you yeah. go in that route, you oh, can yeah, put Zombie yeah. Land up there. Yeah, you can. Zombie Land was good. I I don't know. Well, um, let's any uh, supernatural horror, supernatural like a no. Interview with the Vampire know. is a Carrie. is, is a dip. Carrie is a good one too. Cujo. I, I don't. I don't like. I didn't like. I don't like Cujo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. It's. I know it's good, but I just don't. Uh, just, yeah. Just There's just, a lot just, of choices. It, it, I've only it, ever it, seen one horror movie in theaters. And what was it? Uh, the woman black that had Daniel Radcliffe in it. Oh, okay. That's yeah. A good one. Actually, good I have one. A, it. Was good. I enjoyed I, it. A I've lot. not. I've not seen it, but a coworker uh, mentioned it today. When Dude, I was talking about. you. You gotta watch it. In, yeah. It was like, good. I watched it at like 10 p.m. in my room <laughs> alone <laughs> and I was I was terrified. I was definitely expecting it to be a you know purely jump scare sort of horror movie and yeah. it actually had like a pretty decent plot. Yeah yeah so. it, it wasn't too it wasn't hokey. Yeah yeah it was yeah, it was good. Good. it was good it was yeah. Really well that's, I think the only like official horror movie I've seen and definitely the only one I've seen in theaters the other ones that are coming to mind would be like as kind of ridiculous as it is I do love Signs if you could call that a horror movie yeah I think so I love that movie uh, I was also I was thinking Saw but those aren't necessarily good they're in my opinion they're like bad <laughs> I don't fun think horror. people like horror movies because they're good <laughs> Yeah. There's some. Uh, but yeah. It's not There's not some, always. But not always. No. Uh, yeah. Okay. What about um, favorite horror show, TV show? <laughs> to me, I can't think of many. So my initial, my only answer is going to be The Walking Dead, probably. Uh, Ash or versus I Zombie, e but yeah, Ash versus Evil Dead. Uh, it's it's you know, if you're if you're looking for some just horror comedy and just in your face blood, gore, guts insanity then that's your 
that's, that's, that's a good one for you. I actually just started that the other day and watched, I think only like the first episode, maybe the first two, but yeah, it's, it looks fun. I've heard a lot more about it. Yeah. What about you, Hannah? Uh, well, I was going to make fun of myself for being basic, but Hunter said The Walking Dead, so I think I'm good. Yeah. Um, the the s- scariest shows that I really liked are Doctor Who and Supernatural. Supernatural is a good is a good one. It's it's a little yeah. yeah. I'm not seeing hey, it's not too it's scary. Not, it's not as uh, as wild or they don't tear people limb from limb like like where like you kind of like like you. Like some like some horror fanatics yeah. would expect, but you still get a good bit of like a little bit of everything. You get your supernatural. Yeah, you know, I would say it's less of a <laughs> horror. <laughs> I would say it's less of a horror. horror. Yeah, and more of like a like a thriller, like an action thriller, if yeah. you will. Yeah, action thriller <laughs> with a lot of horror yeah. elements into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I I'd probably say uh, I I could make a a case for Doctor Who, but I would not as strongly put it for horror. There are definitely episodes, and there are a good number of episodes that have horror elements to it, but it's just tough for me to really want to categorize as horror. I uh, I haven't watched any Doctor Who in probably a couple months, and I still, like, I imagine some of the monsters following me back from the bathroom when I get up in the middle of the night. One, Again, overactive one, imagination. One that I do stuck with me. Man. I do always think of when thinking of Doctor Who and horror is the one. I think they're on the moon or something, and there's like this giant fire demon somewhere. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. they're somewhere, and it's the one that I always think of is actually a uh, relatively not that newer, kind of middle of the road Matt Smith, I think, episode about a creature who like never wants to be seen and is response like lives under your bed and grabs your ankles when you kick yeah, your feet off that. the bed in the middle of the night mm, it. freaks can me I, out so can much I give a spoiler for that one? <laughs> can i give a spoiler for that one sure go for it. i'm good wasn't that wasn't that <laughs> amy no because there was something right where like he like she was under his bed when he was a child and that was when she like grabbed his ah people. yes but that wasn't amy that was clara oh it was one of them <laughs> you're right uh what okay about, what's uh, um which one are we what's which one's scarier i just wanted to ask is it <clears throat> a monster like a monstrous thing I'm, that's not, I'm talking demon vampire werewolf zombie chupacabra uh <laughs> or, or is it or is it a human that for it, me it's always been a monster I think human just because that's more realistic and it's easier to imagine that really happening. Mm. Um, it yeah. is, depending, but... depending on the monster, because there are some monstrous things that I just cannot. <sighs> the biggest thing for me that I just cannot do that creeps me out more than anything is either excessive eyes. <laughs> or like mouths with teeth instead of eyes, and I just cannot. I that just that's the biggest why thing. Nope. The biggest thing for me is is demons because I actually believe they exist. Uh, so that freaks me out a lot. The threat of ghost because just you know kind of on the fence about do they exist do they not but the fact that you can't do anything to them. Yeah, and they can just they can say as long as they want to. Yeah, and the hand and the scene in Doctor Strange where he's in the hands dimension where there's hands and hands and hands. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a little <laughs> Ugh, stop. But um, yeah. so all right, I w- I wanted to get a little bit into favorite video game or video game, but you know we kind of discussed that last week. So, so that was our episode. Happy Halloween! Uh, thanks for joining us. I uh, hope it's spooky. Hope you enjoyed these horror discussions even if some of them were more loosely related than others uh josh what are we talking about next week next week i want to talk about trilogies okay that's very vague it yes is very well vague. there are trilogies and all there are trilogies are everywhere there's you know your movie trilogies which i think we'll probably talk about the most in video game trilogies um can't really do that for tv shows and then there's song trilogies I, I that well, if you guys want to talk it's about song mu- music trilogies, that's fine. But look, I think I, we'll I think limiting limiting it to movie and video games 
trilogies? Do you keep it as a trilogy? Do you not? Do you make more after you made the th- trilogy, or you know, just the ins and outs of that? Yep, we'll get that next week then. So uh, I just wanted to make a quick uh, little, let's say, plug announcement. Uh, I've uh, I'm doing a Twitch stream and. Uh, from now, uh, what's today's date? The 29th. We'll call it the 29th as many people are hearing it. Uh, until November 10th, 2019. Uh, I For my stream, I will be streaming Destiny 2 uh, to raise money for the Children's Hospital, uh, specifically the one closest to me, Children's Hospital of Atlanta. So if you want to come by, that's uh, Zab underscore gaming on twitch.tv. Uh, find me there. Or just if you want to donate, I think it's a good place to donate to. So just make your own donation. Or uh, there will also, if you're watching on YouTube, there will be a link down below for you to donate. Uh, yeah, you donate. <laughs> and yeah. Do it for the yeah. kids. Yeah, I always think that's good. Uh, I had a whole thing, but never mind, I'm not going to say that. Um, yeah, so it's good. Uh, so join us next week, and hope you have a great one. See you guys. Bye. Bye.